Hello and welcome to the first episode of building the pancake machine. If you don't know what the pancake machine is, you can watch my previous video where I talk about my plans in details, but briefly it's a machine that gives you freshly baked pancakes filled with several stuffings in this rolled up format. In this video we're going to build maybe the last step of the pancake making pipeline, the device that rolls up the pancake. Something like this. Enjoy! Ok, let's forget this magic box and let me explain what I have in mind. Here will be a conveyor belt. There will be another smaller conveyor belt here and another one here. It will be better like this, but now the conveyor belts are blocked by each other and are not able to move, so let's replace these white belts with many of thinner ones that are placed one after another as you can see. Pancake here and magic. This whole thing is going to take place in a boxy something and will be powered by a stepper motor. For skeptics, here's the prototype. So, in today's video, we have two major things to do. The first is to convince the stepper motor to rotate to build a motor controlled system. The second is to build this roller machinery physically that I just showed you. Let's start with the first one. But what is a stepper motor? How to control it? Shit. No. Stepper motors can rotate in discrete steps. Every stepper motor has a number of steps they need for one exact revolution. For example 16. If I want this motor to do two revolutions, I have to give the following instruction. 32 steps please. In a nutshell. If the motor steps fast enough, the rotation seems to be continuous. At least for you, but not for a fly. Bzzz. The main thing is that controlling a stepper motor is easy. They have relatively high torque on lower RPMs, which is also beneficial for us. And they can be easily found in old printers, so we have some at home. So let's begin. First things first, let's see what gadgets I'm going to use for controlling the stepper motor. A microcontroller, in my case an Arduino Nano, this L298NH bridge, wires, this, and a bipolar stepper motor from an old printer that operates on 24 volts. For power supply, I'm going to use this power supply unit, guess what, from an old printer. And as you can see there are three mysterious holes here. This is ground, in this there are 16 volts, in this there are 32 volts. I will use 16 volts because 16 is pretty close to 24. On this motherboard I found this plug's wife. So I will cut this corner down here and solder two wires to the ground and the 16 watts pins. That's perfect. So here's what I made. I inserted a switch so we can turn off the power 
and if the switch is on and I plug this in, there will be 16 volts between these two pins. I attach it to the microcontroller and the H bridge and our modern control system is almost complete, it only requires some programming. If you're interested, here's the circuit diagram. I wrote a short code that rotates the step promoter for a while, then it stops and rotates backwards for a while and repeats this forever, just to try it. Alright, the time has come. I turn it on. Brilliant! Task 2 I bought these elastic bands from the local hardware store. Originally they are made for trousers, but now they will be conveyor belts. I will sew the two ends together. It seems okay to me, here's a smaller one, and I need many of these. So here are these rubber cylinders, I will put these on the axles so the conveyor belts won't slip on them. So here are the axles with the rubber cylinders on, and this is how it's going to work. Bearings for, you know, less frictional resistance. Here are these wooden plates. These will be the two sides of the machine. And here are these metal plates. These will stick the two sides together, somehow like this. As you can see, as I rotate one of the axles, all the three conveyor belts are moving. So now, we only have to combine these together and we are done. After long hours of searching I finally found a spur wheel that matches with the stepper molder and also fits on the axles. <laughs> Let's fix the stepper motor on this wooden plate. Super awesome!
That was it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. In the next episode, we are going to build another stage of the pancake making pipeline, the filling stage. So if you're interested, I see you there. Thank you very much for your attention. Goodbye. Thank you.